The much talked about Artemis 1 mission to the moon didn't happen as planned this morning. NASA was forced to scrap the launch due to a leak in the rocket engine. The next launch opportunity isn't until Friday, and NASA officials say they haven't given up on hitting that target. Artemis 1 will be unmanned, but mannequins will be on board, and one of those mannequins is named after a Johnson Space Center engineer instrumental in another famous moon mission. Jason Miles spoke with his family. NASA calls mannequins moonikins, and it's not just a dummy in the capsule atop Artemis. It will collect data beneficial to actual astronauts. As dozens awaited Artemis 1's launch this morning at Space Center Houston's viewing party. You know, you could watch it at home, but there's nothing like being here. It's really exciting. These two daughters of a late NASA electrical engineer, Arturo B. Campos, watched from Johnson Space Center's Artemis mission control. If he only knew, you know, I have a feeling he does. Arturo Campos, who passed away in 2001, was instrumental in bringing Apollo 13's crew back to Earth in 1970 following an onboard mishap. Hey, yeah. His daughters recall their mom telling them what happened. She said, uh, NASA called dad. You know, they're having a, a hard time with getting the astronauts back or something like that. Campos's name is now attached to the newest moon mission. Moonikin Commander Campos is the name of this mannequin on board Artemis 1, thanks to the results of a naming contest. He would be surprised, honestly. I mean, it's 50 years later and and here we are. The Moonikin is wearing a flight suit and is capable of collecting valuable data. What's the word that keeps you instrumental in gathering information for future astronauts? A nod to NASA's past, providing another reason to be proud of their dad. A third Campos sister traveled to Florida to watch the planned launch in person. The two I interviewed today are kind of glad they didn't go after all. Reporting from Space Center Houston, Jason Miles, KHOU 11 News.